Time is the most valuable resource we all have. And what makes it so different is that it's a scarce resource. It's not infinite. Every second you waste isn't recoverable. Unlike money, when you can work hard and make more of it, it doesn't work the same with time. You have to be extremely careful about how you spend it. And every day or every minute, we have to make that decision on how to spend our time. And the problem with that is that we are surrounded by so many distractions that are draining our time and energy. If you have ever been in an argument, you know how difficult it is to change someone's mind. And it doesn't usually have to do with the facts. Even if the facts are on your side, people often do not want to admit that they are wrong. It makes them feel inferior in front of others. To avoid the feeling of embarrassment, we kinda stick to what we believe. Even deep inside, we know that we are wrong. Of course that's not right and it has to do more with our egos. But that's the nature of humans. You probably have been in such circumstances where you were confronted by all the facts but you simply said, I am going to stick to my opinion anyway. You would be lucky if that's how an argument ends because often someone will get offended throughout the argument, which happens pretty much every time. What I came to realize is that arguments in most cases aren't worth it. Ask yourself, why would you argue with anyone at all? Probably to prove your point or convince someone else of a different opinion. It might give you an ego boost for a moment, but at the cost of damaging your relationship with that person. However, I want to make it clear that arguing and debating are two different things. Discussing or exchanging opinions is great, there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. But the moment it turns into an argument, it will probably offend one of you. Pulling out that cigar might make you look cool or regularly drinking cog is satisfying. But to be honest, you only have around 8 years at best if you are in the US. And if you think about it, it's not much. And to be more practical, in the first 10 to 15 years, you're just a kid who's just learning how to live. And in the last 10 to 15 years, you will probably only be surviving. So what's the point of ruining little charm you have on earth? An unhealthy diet will only make that time shorter and painful. There is nothing wrong with a slice of pizza with a soft drink time to time. You have to try things in life. You have to treat yourself all the pleasures that life has to offer. You are going to die anyway. However, what is the point of living miserably if you have got such a limited time? There is just so much to enjoy life and to damage your health for the sake of some short term pleasure that will only make you miserable in the long run to not worth it at all. The little choices you make every day are going to add up and over time they are going to have a huge impact on your life. If you want to stay healthy, you should not consume more than 6 teaspoons of sugar a day. Almost everything you eat or drink has some sugar, so that amount quickly adds up. A single Coca-Cola can have 10 teaspoons of sugar. Maybe if you exceed that amount once in a while, it won't be a problem. But if you drink a can a day, it easily adds up. In a single month, you are going to consume more than 300 teaspoons of sugar than you should, or 1.2 kilograms. Your immune system does need sugar to survive. Having more sugar than you're supposed to have can literally destroy you. Besides the fact that it can lead to obesity, it would impact your skin because it dehydrates the skin and accelerates aging. Even a single can of Coca-Cola can lead to high blood pleasure, which is going to increase your chances of heart attack. And I didn't even mention its side effects such as kidney failure and cancer. Imagine when you're addicted to junk food. What happens when you consume junk food every single day? Maybe when you're a teenager, young and strong, you might not realize the impacts immediately. But as you begin to age slowly, you are going to get miserable.
Falling in love can be both great and painful. Living with a partner who both loves you and supports you is probably one of the best things that could happen to you. But when you love someone who does not love you back is absolutely horrible. You know that moment when you forget to breathe but you won't forget to shoot her a message with a good morning? That moment when you can't stop thinking about her, when you don't see any purpose to continue living without her. When you try your best to please her, but she's just not into you for whatever reason. In fact, after some time you realize that all this time she was with someone else while you were trying to please her. Right there is a punch to your feelings. You slide down into depression. Here is how you should act in such circumstances. Find some courage and make a move. If it works out, good for you. If it doesn't, pull out a joke. Just accept the fact that she's just not into you and move on. There are a gazillion number of other girls who would like you for who you are and they're more attractive. Not a single girl worth your life. Whatever feelings you have for whatever girl is going to fade away over time, especially if you move on and continue living. My grandfather once told me, life is too short to be serious, take everything with a grain of salt and have fun. Of course you have to be serious from time to time, but do not try to be perfectionist. No matter what you do, not everything is going to go according to your plan and the way you imagine the world to be. The world is a mess, life is a mess, and that's simply a fact. Instead of getting annoyed by it, try to enjoy it, learn to have fun in the middle of this mess. You had a bad moment, someone offended you, swallow it and move on. It fascinates me when people say, I had a bad day because I had a bad interaction in the morning. That was in the morning, you have the rest of the day. I remember reading a quote somewhere on the internet. You have $86,400 in your account and someone stole $10 from you. Would you be upset and throw all of the $86,390 away in hopes of getting back at the person that took $10 from you? Or move and live? Right, move on and live. See, we have 86,400 seconds every day. So don't let someone's negative 10 seconds ruin the rest of the 86,390 seconds you have left. Don't sweat the small stuff. Life is bigger than that. A lot of you might disagree with me, especially when on this channel we talk a lot about money. Of course, when you are in a desperate position where bill collectors are knocking on your door, the only thing you would want is some cash to keep them away. However, when your entire life focus is about making more and more money, when you measure everything in financial terms, life gets really boring and I'm saying that based on personal experience. The point isn't that you should stop being responsible financially and spend like there is no tomorrow, but rather don't dime a nickel with everything. The matter of the fact is, one day you are going to leave this beautiful world and leave everything behind. So the only thing that matters is how well you lived, the people you met, the experiences you have had, all the good things you have done, all the people you have helped, the impact you had on other people's life, your family, your children, whom you have raised. Work hard, but at the same time, spend some time with your family, kids, friends. It's going to make your life much more purposeful. Be financially responsible, but never let money be the wall in front of you that you can't see anything beyond it. Life is much more than that. Of course, if we are talking about all the things that do not worth in your life, the list is definitely going to be beyond these five things. One of the best ways is definitely to talk to people who are much elder than you, who could share their life experiences. Sometimes we prioritize family over friends or money over social life, but end up a bit miserable at the end of the journey. The wisdom lies in learning the lessons early in life, learning from those who have made these mistakes and taking a different path. 
I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the bell besides it so that the next video will appear right on your homepage. Thanks for watching and until next time.